guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ronke Raji. Oh, hi. <laughs> We all know the dilemma of false eyelashes. There are some days you get it amazing and there are some days where it's like, hello, please, can you just attach to my eye? Is there some trick that people are using? I hope that this video helps you to kind of learn how to apply lashes. Drop me a comment down below and let me know your favorite lash brands. So the first step before I put on lashes, I always try to put on liner and mascara. This will be a very great safeguard so that even if you do mess up, the liner is covering it. The first thing you're gonna need are tweezers. There are different types of tweezers. I usually like the beginner tweezers, which look like this. What I personally use, because I've been doing lashes for such a long time, are the regular tweezers. Some people even use their fingers, so it really depends on you what is comfortable to you. Your lash glue is going to be very, very essential because the type of lash glue you use is going to be what is going to hold the lashes to, onto your eye. And if you don't use proper lash glue or good lash glue, not the one that comes in the packet of the lash, actually get duo i love duo because i've noticed that it sticks on really well and my lashes usually stay on all day and if you stick to one lash glue you will understand the way it works and it'll be easier for you to do lashes in comparison to switching lash glues and sometimes the lashes don't stick on sometimes they do so i use duo it has worked for me for so many years that i've been doing lashes and i know that I, immediately i found the correct lash glue and the correct technique i was able to put on lashes aside from lash glue if you have curly lashes make sure you have a lash curler they sell this anywhere walmart walgreens anywhere you can get them and last but not least obviously you need your lashes lashes they vary from drugstore lashes to lily lashes that i use I I love Lily lashes because they're a $30 pair of lashes that you can wear several times. Um, but if you're gonna use like drugstore brand, it's also fine. The drugstore brand of lashes in comparison to the mink lashes, the drugstore brand of lashes are gonna have a thinner band. So you have to be very careful when removing them from the packet. When you want to remove your lashes from the packet, you want to make sure you roll it out of the packet or you carefully bend the packet and kind of peel it so out. Now we got our lashes done. Now we have to put lash glue on. We have our liner, we have everything set. Pay attention to the technique that I'm using to put on the lashes so that it will be easy for you. A lot of people when they put on lashes, they go like this. They stick it on like this. If you do that, you're going to frustrate yourself because it's not gonna go on like you want it to. So what you want to actually do is look down into the mirror and that is where you'll be able to really see your lash line. I have pretty curly lashes, so sometimes I do have problems putting on lashes too. Or when I first started, I had problems, especially putting it close to your lash line is so hard. But the more you do it, the more you get. You wanna take your lash and apply lash glue onto it. Now, people always ask, how much lash glue? Just a little bit. In every lash, there is a band right here. And that is where you go and you apply lash glue. You don't want to put too much, but you also don't want to put too little that the lash will not stick on. I said this before in my previous video, make sure you don't blow on your lashes, especially if it's for a client. You want to wait for the lash glue to become tacky. At least 30 seconds to one minute, depending on the amount of lash glue you put. If you put a lot of lash glue on your lash, then you have to wait a lot longer. But if you put the bare minimum or not too much, you have to wait less. So now it's been about a minute. I have my mirror and I'm going to look down into the mirror and take my lash and apply it to the middle. And what you do is take it down. So as you look down, you'll be able to tell where to apply it. You put the middle first and then you take your tweezers and put the, the two corners in there too. I also sometimes use my tweezers to press down the lashes. Do you see the difference between no lashes and lashes? I'm gonna go to the second lash and show you guys how to do it with beginner tweezers. Remember when I first learned how to wear lashes, I learned from Ismay Rewe, and what she did, which is really cool for people who have curly lashes, is instead of using your lash curler and curling your lashes like this, you actually flip it upside down and clamp your lashes so that you can straighten them. And you just wanna hold for a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds 
So now that my lashes are straighter and they're able to put the lashes on, now I'm going to use the beginner tweezers. So using the same process, I'm going to use the lash glue and put a little bit of lash glue onto the band of the lashes. Put them in between the clamps like that. Look down into the mirror, down into the mirror. Go from above. So down into the mirror, go from above. Put it on the middle, the back, and then the front. You want to also adjust it and make sure that it is where you want it to be. If you're wearing lashes for the first time, it will feel like you're wearing lashes, like there's a blanket on top of your eye or there's like spider web on top of your eye. But if you've been wearing it for a while, it should not pinch you. If it's pinching or pricking or it feels uncomfortable when you blink, especially in the inner corners, it is not put on right. So you take it off and you try again. Don't get frustrated, just have patience and you will get it. And keep in mind that the first time you try it, it might not go as well as you want, but just keep trying and you will get it. After I've put on both lashes, I'm going to go over again with the mascara to just blend in the lash with my natural lash. And then I'm going to use my hand to press the lash down. I'm just going to lift it. My final step with lashes is always to do my bottom lashes. I have naturally long bottom lashes. However, I will introduce you guys to one of my favorite bottom lash mascaras which is the benefit bad girl bang this mascara i've used a lot of mascaras as in in general but what i like most about this mascara is the bristles and they really make your lashes pop so i like to use that for my bottom lashes and it just defines it I hope this was a simple tutorial. I really tried to make it as simple as possible. But if you have any questions about putting on lashes or the struggles you guys have, let me know in the comment section down below. I know how hard lashes are and I know how frustrated most women are that they can't put on lashes or they have curly lashes and things like that. But trust me, you got this. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great week. Goodbye. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-